the first thing, we couldn't go anywhere in Disney World, we had to do an all day Universal besides Magic Kingdom. And Sarah said when we were parking, she's like, I'm pretty sure we did the same thing when we went to SeaWorld. So, it's just our thing. This is our home, we love Universal, we love SeaWorld, but Disney is our boy. And we gotta go back to it. But go check out our Universal vlog, because it's awesome. that could have been a better way to enter the Magic Kingdom. We walk in, Dapper Dan's are playing. We go to take some photos um, at the top of the train station. As we do that, we realize that Festival of Fantasy Parade was delayed because of the rain. Yeah. So we got to see that. And we're walking down Main Street and the stage show's going on. And because it's so rainy today, there was like a bunch of fast passes available. So I already hit up three fast passes just now for five, six, and seven o'clock. For Peter Pan, what else do we get? Splash. Peter Pan, Splash, and, and tomorrow, Speedway. Yeah, it's probably Speedway. And it's up until 11 o'clock tonight. And so it's up until it 11. It is going to rain. We know. 100% certainty. It's, it's looking nasty, but that's kind of why this may be sneaky. So you can let me know down below if you think it's sneaky, but I think it's smart. Oh my god! They're, I think they're doing all the entertainment before the storm comes in because at 6 o'clock it's 100% uh, it's guarantee of rain at 6. But because of that, that's why I chose Speedway at 6. Because when it rains, that'll go down. 101 is what that's called. And then we'll get a, a fast pass for anything but the two big ones. So we could use that on like Space Mountain once it goes down. Even though there's no Space Mountain available. Guys, I know it's sneaky, but I think it's just working it. Now you know, so take it and use that. Same thing for Splash. At 7 if it's raining, they won't run Splash, we'll get another Rio. I'm sorry, don't hate us. First of all, look how gloomy those clouds look. Real scary, but guess what, don't care. We brought our ponchos, jackets today, and our backpack has a, a like a sack that you can put around it. So we are prepared. We can be 100% pin and Sarah wants to pin trade. That's why we're here. I should have known Sarah was up to something when we got out of the car and goes, guess what I have out of my pocket? Uh, we get out of the car and she goes, look what I got, and pulls a little Eve pin that we're going to trade from outside of her pocket. I should have known. She's got the bug today. The pin trading bug! When we would be on vacation, I would literally get every single cast member's thing. But it gets a little aggressive when we gotta live here and everyone would never eat it. Yeah. So then all of a sudden I'm like, determined. And I haven't found a really good Snow White one in a really long time. So we'll just have to keep an eye out. Maybe with today's the day. Everybody's like this and getting suited up as we walk past. There's like families stopping and getting all their ponchos ready because I feel like they all know something that we don't and it's like three minutes away. I'm convinced we're going to go on Peter Pan and then we're going to get, get off. Were like yeah. Up and like preparing their outdoor so I think we're going to go on Peter Pan and it's, we're going to get off and it's going to be like the next hurricane. <laughs> we have five minutes for a fast pass so she goes, let's go in the store. I want a pin trade. Look at her just creepishly being away. Looking for the pin board or the pin ears. I'm just over here documenting your addiction. Oswald pins. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, that one's cool. That one is cool. Yeah. Notice the umbrella right there and the people running. I don't know if you can see. Oh god, it's coming down quick. It was nothing a minute ago. Now it's it's literally pouring now. But like we said, we are prepared today. We got jackets and a backpack cover. We'll put all of our cell phones and our things in our pockets in our backpack. And then we'll be, we'll be soaked. But it's okay, because we'll be in Magic Kingdom. Oh, 
it's it feels so good to be back. All right, so we're right outside of Peter Pan. It's still raining. We gotta get ready. We'll get prepared. Jackets on. We're good to go. Good to go. Can't wear my brake, but I'm trying to break one of these days. And off we go into the rain. Mine train still going? Ooh. Oh my god, look at they're still going in this storm. We don't know. Sarah thinks that they're still loading people on in the rain. There's not any thunder lightning. True. But do you want to try to get in the line or do you want to overrun the circus? All right, we got in line, they're running. We just gotta get our, ourselves set up to ride it with the camera. So we'll get GoPro out, cell phones away, and then we'll be ready. It's, this is literally only a 20 minute way right now. That's awesome. We just missed the red Oh yeah, we were one behind it. Sarah's yodeling. Still raining. But it, there's no lightning, I guess. It's been 10 miles because the rides haven't gone down. That's what stops it, not the rain. So we're going on Tomorrowland Speedway. So Ooh. Peter's plan failed. It is indeed raining. It's in the hot, but nothing's going down. But Sarah was able to cancel our fastness because we just walked right on for the 10 minutes and use it. She canceled that and was able to grab a, a Buzz Lightyear for five minutes from now. So. It could be looking like a very efficient day at the Magic Kingdom, even though it's raining. But hopefully it stays light because we decided to take the G7X back out and risk it in the, the like drizzle that's going on. Traffic, yeah. and there wasn't anybody like bumping us, and we were just kind of cruising, low and slow, Ramon style. Right? That's secretly since we moved here has been warming up to me. That used to be like Sarah's absolute favorite that no one would ever want to go on. Nobody. Nobody. Not even myself. I was like, come on, I don't want to. But it's been it's been growing on me. If I can get it so nobody bumps me and I can just enjoy the ride, I love it. Galactic hero or not? Galactic hero. I did it. I love my go-to room with nine, 980,000 points. You're lucky. And I barely got it. I literally got it the last two shots. Oh my god, check that out. Buzz is out meeting greeting with it still drizzling. But I think it's because he technically <laughs> doing a meeting greet. I think it's because he has a cover, a slight cover. But we're going to check out our next fast pass is what? Big Thunder? No, Splash. Splash. Splash at 7 o'clock. We got an hour to kill. I'm thinking Big Thunder might not be a long wait because if all these rides that are outside are still running, Big Thunder will still run. And I'm hoping that this has kept people away. I asked to go to Cult of Couture, Castle Couture, not because we haven't been in here in a long time. She confesses because she just wants the pin trade. She's at it again? True, she is looking for the perfect pin for Dapper Day, for two outfits. All right, so I think our plan worked out right now. Big Thunder is saying 10 minutes. So I think we should go on that, but we just saw the craziest thing ever that I think has ever happened in Frontierland, like front proper, Frontierland proper, if you would like to call it that. Um, what, what did we just see? So he was like, why is somebody yelling? 
But then I heard him. He says, "Last call for the show," and it was country or tambourine, and people were literally like. <laughs> there was right. literally like f about like, forty people. Oh. Who runs? I mean, like we would, but like, when do you see that many people? Not only did we not have a fast pass, we only had to wait 10 minutes. Alexi gave us roll one, not even asking her to try. Remember that happened like in the yeah, like first movie here? Happened to us like three times. He liked in, like, the a back, month. the front, and the fun. Look at his hair. Look at my hair. You mine? Who are mine? Alright, this is the wildest ride in the wilderness. Wow. Wow. Oh, there's another train. Oh, I've never seen it before. Ooh, extra slow because the rain and the wet track. Or maybe because, like you said, it was in the front. Okay, this tells me that I can put my stuff away in the backpack because this is a hoedown right here. <gasps> Prayer Rabbit's out too. Wow. That was magical. So, seeing those awesome characters just now tells me one thing with 100% certainty. That front that came through with all the rain is now past us. Right. Because they would not send all those characters out. That means a hoedown is going to happen in probably, what, 5 or 10 minutes? Yeah. Before it gets started, then it's like a 15 minute hoedown. Yeah. So yeah, rain's not coming here anytime soon. So I'm gonna, I think we could take our, our jackets and put the, put the backpack away and everything. Oh my God, these are probably the dunklings that we saw last week. Look how cute they look. They're like, it is moist out, it was rainy. We can just own the world. There's mama. Oh, and the little one's got something, something to eat on. You know they're all after that. Oh. The one with the paper towel is sneaking away to hide from all of its siblings so it can eat the paper towel, which is not good for it, but they're all in those going onto the water. That was adorable. Those are probably the same ones we saw the other day. They're so grown up. Yeah, they like doubled in size in that time. Now we're really hungry. We're actually leaving the park right now. But we're gonna torture ourselves by going through Casey's and Main Street. Well, the plan is to milk the most out of this Sunday. We just had the most efficient three hours ever at Magic Kingdom. We're about to get on this boat ride to enjoy boat, to enjoy resort life for a little bit. Oh my god, what's up with the Disney and the ducks today? And the ducklings especially. This is the Grand Floridian DVC pool. If that isn't the most adorable thing I've ever seen. That's more adorable than the Magic Kingdom ones. Look how creepy it looks, by the way. We parked at the TTC, but we wanted to enjoy the Grand Floridian and walk through it and maybe run into the Polly for a hot second before we go home. We gotta go home and have dinner and hang out Eve and maybe we'll watch... Um, Princess and the Frog. We're home, everybody. It's an earlier night, so that's good. Like we said, we're gonna watch a movie. We're actually cooking dinner. It's a late dinner. But look at this chicken. It's so good looking. It's already kind of sprayed the it's stove cap. delicious it? looking chicken right there. Yeah. We're using the marinade from the North Carolina box we got. Mm -hmm. Confessions, we couldn't find Princess and the Frog. I feel like we might have left today your mom's. I don't know, we can't find out where it is. But we decided to watch Todd Your Calls Behind the Curtain on Netflix. Because Sarah started it and said it was amazing, and so far it is. But look how comfy cozy this girl looks in this with on the couch with this quilt. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, Brooke Hart. It's time for bed. You ready? You still have been sleeping. Look at my crazy hair. <laughs> Look like George Washington. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
plate. It is plain in this little girl. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.